Hey guys, it's Johnny with RV SWAT and welcome to the long awaited return of the RV kitchen. So we posted a poll on our YouTube channel and asked you what you wanted to see in the next episode of the RV kitchen. What did you choose? Instant pot lasagna. There's a few things you're gonna need for this recipe. You're gonna need a pound of Italian sausage a pound of ground beef, some spaghetti sauce, some salt, we have mozzarella cheese, Italian cheese blend, ricotta cheese, parmesan cheese, so it's going to be a very cheesy lasagna. We have some garlic, eggs, Italian seasoning, oven ready lasagna, this is the important one for the Instant Pot version, oven ready lasagna, and an onion. Now, I'm using Thrive uh, freeze-dried onions tonight. I'll get more into that in just a minute, and I'll tell you why I'm using this. But these are the items that you're going to need. You're also going to need a pan. I'm using a 7-inch spring form. You can use anything that's going to fit inside your Instant Pot. So whatever's going to work for you and whatever size pot you have, we're using the foodie tonight. But you can do this in any pressure cooker. So I'm using a 7-inch spring form some aluminum foil and parchment paper okay the first thing we're going to do is put our meat so this is our italian sausage and our ground beef we're going to get that into the pot get it browning now if you want depending on how much space you have you could do this in a separate pot uh, as you can tell we're not in the rv tonight we're at a friend's house but i'm trying to do this all in one pot just to show you that it can be done in a very small space in your rv so I'm going to do it in one pot, but when I'm done with the sauce, I'm going to have to wash the pot in order to pressure cook the lasagna. If you have the space, you can brown the meat and do the sauce and everything on the stove and then just pressure cook. So it's up to you how you want to do that. But we're going to get the meat browned up in here. And while we're getting the meat done, we're going to go ahead and get the cheese mixture all mixed up. So while the meat is browning, I have two eggs that we have whipped up, get the egg mixed up real good and we're going to pour this right into two cups of ricotta cheese. So we're going to get that in there and then we're going to take Italian seasoning and about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I eyeball it, but I know about what a tablespoon is, so we'll start with a tablespoon and we'll see how that goes. And just get the cheese mixture all blended together. Okay, once you have the egg and the cheese mixed together, should be at about this consistency. And we will just set this aside and have it ready for layering. All right, tonight for the onions, I'm using our Thrive freeze-dried onions. There's lots of reasons that we use Thrive in our everyday cooking. But just to cover a few for you today is one, I don't feel like chopping. <laughs> so I don't have to peel my onion, chop my onion. I'm not dirty in a knife and a cutting board and using up counter space. All the work has already been done. So all I'm going to do is sprinkle a couple tablespoons of the onions, which I'll show you in a minute. These are finely chopped, freeze-dried onions from Thrive Life Foods. And we use Thrive Life every single day in our cooking. If you're interested in Thrive Life, there will be a link in the video, or a link in the description, sorry. So you can go down there and check out the link. Alright, so we're going to stir those onions and brown them up right into the meat mixture. And I'm also going to put about a teaspoon or two of garlic which would be a, probably two cloves of garlic so we'll get that into the meat also get that all stirred together all right and one last thing into the meat mixture is a little salt probably about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper Now those freeze-dried onions, 
they were dry when I put them in, but the moisture content of them, meat and everything is going to rehydrate those onions very nice. So everything that we use from Thrive rehydrates very nice when we're cooking it. All right, well that's gone. The meat is brown. So all I'm going to do is dump in the spaghetti sauce. Get that stirred in. So you can take a look at that. So all we're doing is heating up the sauce now. I'm also going to put some Italian seasoning uh, right into the sauce too. Just because if I don't make my spaghetti sauce from scratch, uh, and the reason I don't do that in the RV is just for you know space reasons. I buy jar of spaghetti sauce, but I always doctor it up a little bit. So again, just a little Italian seasoning. Now from there, once you get the seasoning into the salts, we'll go ahead and turn this off. It is up to temperature. You can see it's simmering. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, and I'm just going to let this sit in the pot while we get everything ready to assemble. All right, we got everything ready to assemble. So again, I'm going to use a seven-inch springform pan, and I'm going to line it with parchment paper just to make cleanup a little easier. So I have a piece of parchment paper. I'll show you this trick too. So you get a piece of parchment paper, you fold it in half, and then half again, and then into a triangle here, like that, and one more time. like that. Now once you have this you can flip your pan over, put your point in the center of the pan, and then use your scissors and just cut right there. Then this small piece when you open it up it's a nice circle that'll fit right inside your pan. And then you're gonna layer your lasagna right on top of that. All right, in this bowl, we have our Italian blend and our mozzarella, and we just mixed it half and half. So this is half Italian blend. Now there is mozzarella in the Italian blend, but I like going heavy on the mozzarella. So you can use any cheese you want, any cheese blend you want. This is just what I prefer. And we're gonna start layering into our pan. So the first thing we're gonna do, put just a small scoop of the meat mixture just to get a little stuff on the bottom. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just want a little moisture on the bottom. Okay. And then start layering your oven ready lasagna. Again, remember, oven ready lasagna is the important thing with the Instant Pot recipe. So we're just gonna measure these out and just kind of break them and put them in here any way we can. And layer our noodles, and then we're going to come in with the ricotta cheese and egg mix. So you get that spread around a little bit. Then we're going to put some more sauce. We'll spread that out a little bit, and we're going to go with our cheese. And then you just repeat this process, noodles, cheese, sauce, shredded cheese, and repeat that till the pan is full. So once you get everything layered, fill your pan almost to the top, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and top this with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I like a lot of cheese in my lasagna, as you can tell. But this just saves you from having to add it to your individual plate. We're just going to go ahead and top it with it now. Okay. And we're going to wrap that with a piece of foil. And just set that on our rack. Now, I'm going to put about a cup and a half, two cups of water. You just want to use however much water it takes to cover the bottom of your... Uh, instant pot, foodie, whatever you're using. The foodie takes about a cup and a half to cover the bottom. Then we're going to cover it just so water doesn't get in it because we will be pressure cooking. And we're going to set the lasagna right down inside. Then we're going to get our pressure cooker lid for the foodie. 
we're gonna lock that on so we're gonna set it to seal we're gonna turn it on in high pressure and we're gonna go about 25 minutes there you go 25 minutes start we're gonna let it build pressure once it builds pressure it's gonna pressure cook for 20 minutes then we're gonna let it naturally release for 10 minutes and then we'll open it up and see what it looks like all right pressure cooking is done we've been naturally releasing for over 10 minutes so now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the release and as always we're gonna wait for our pin to drop before we try to open the lid so before we open this up and see what it looks like if you like this kind of video don't forget to subscribe click the thumbs up button and the bell if you want notifications and also thank you guys for choosing lasagna I personally love lasagna so thanks for choosing that and if you want to see something in the next episode just comment below in this video let me know your ideas what I'll do is go through all the comments and maybe put together another poll to see what we're going to do in the next episode so now let's open this up and see what it looks like right. we're just going to take this out and I'll set it on the stove for now and I'll grab a rag and we want to dump the water get a rag and we want to dump the water out of your pressure cooker if you have a foodie you're going to do this uh, because I'm going to brown the lasagna brown the top with the bake feature in here if you don't have a foodie then you can just take your lasagna out of your pressure cooker and then we're going to remove the foil and you can finish it off in the oven if you want to so we're going to remove the foil and see what she looks like there we go now like I said from this point by all means you could eat it like this but it's always better to kind of brown the top a little bit so if you don't have a foodie pop it in your oven or your broiler whatever you're going to use but because we have the foodie one of the features I love is just put it back in there close the lid this time we're going to do uh, let's do a bake let's crank it up to 400 degrees we're gonna do it 15 minutes but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lift up the lid and I'm gonna check it every five minutes until we get to where I want it to be all right at 400 degrees it actually only took five minutes I've already looked but this is what it looks like after five minutes and we're gonna go ahead and pull this out of the pot be careful here because everything is hot once you use that air crisp for that bake feature it gets really hot so we're gonna set this aside so we can let it rest for about 10 15 minutes and we're gonna cut into it and we're gonna have our surprise taste testers give it a try for us all right got it ready to eat as you can see <laughs> so uh, it's been sitting for a little bit so we're gonna open up the spring form and hopefully it comes off and it's set up good enough to where it doesn't run all over the place so cross your fingers Ooh! everybody say ooh! ah <laughs> so it's set up nice and firm now i'm gonna cut a piece for our surprise guests to our taste testers to try it out all right and that's what it looks like when it's all said and done and we're gonna let our taste testers yay everybody know who that is billy and brenda from wondering aces so we're going to let them taste this and see if it passes the test. Gad Ooh, gadget gadget smells it. <laughs> gadget's ready. Good. And there you go. We have instant pot lasagna. Pressure cooked lasagna. Good. Very good. Mm. Gadget, you have to wait. Oh, Gadget, you can't have none of this. You wouldn't like it anyway. <laughs> Gadget, you wouldn't like that, buddy. He's like, he's, oh! <laughs> no, that's very, very good. Alright, guys. That was very good. Is that with the uh, freeze-dry mm. stuff? Yep, the onions. I used the freeze-dried onions. Wow. Yep. Wow, very that good. is really good. That's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button, thumbs up, click the bell if you want notifications, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to comment below. Let us know what you want to see in the next one.
Sorry. Don't forget to subscribe to Billy and Brenda. Yes, please. Wondering please. Aces. I'll put a link to their channel in the description below. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> no, you can't have any more. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see y'all later.